Okay, so guys, this is my first YouTube video. I'm just going to give it a run. It was suggested me to do. So here it goes. Um, my name is Carly, and I have a blog and a website. Uh, www.carly says. So my latest article that I have written is it an article? I don't know. <laughs> um, my latest latest essay maybe is about anti perfectionism. And I thought I would try and just read it to you and see um, some people are more visual. Um, so basically it goes like this. Have you ever wondered how everyone around you seems to have all their shit together and you don't? Have you ever looked on Facebook and thought, bloody hell, Mary has killed and cooked a chicken, rotated four loads of washing, mowed the lawns while shagging the postman and is now off to church in an ironed dress with matching shoes and handbag and you're not even out of your PJs. Most of the time, I understand that the status writer is putting their best foot forward and telling us how they all want us to perceive them. Of course, Mary didn't mention that she also consumed half a bottle of vodka, didn't make her bed, or that she wore the same knickers for two days, hence four loads of washing in the first place to be done, did she now? I, I find this type of perfect life posting seems to come at me in waves, and I start to believe the hype about everyone else while spiralling down into a negativity about myself. I forget this is just a snapshot in time, and it starts to feel like everyone else lives their lives entirely like this. Oh, lost my words. It's not scripted at all. <laughs> um, and the feeling of what's wrong with me, should I be getting my act together, starts creeping in. One person seems to kick it off, and then it's on like Donkey Kong, with everyone giving us gym updates while I'm sitting on the couch whilst I'm sitting on the couch finishing my coffee, or lovely food they grew and cooked updates, craft macaroni and cheese, don't mind if I do, and or perfect parenting updates, or whilst I'm like, look darling, play school's on again, or my personal fave, look at my perfect relationship. Personally, I'm proud to have not wanted to stab, begin with a fork, today, yet, so it's not just facey either, is it? It's magazines, music videos, television, people just walking around showered and dressed for goodness sakes. I have often felt like I was the only one who just couldn't quite get my shit together. The only one who, I'm the one who always turns up late. My kids have always got grubby faces. My outfit literally thrown together as of today. Ran out of hair gel, doesn't matter. Moose, putty, whatever. Um, I really have space, space in my brain to remember a card for any sort of occasion, not to mention my party trick of being able to read a ticket or an itinerary or an invitation over and over and still get the time or date wrong. I have missed flights, misbooked accommodation, turned up for the party on the wrong day altogether very embarrassing. <laughs> you have to get a new outfit because next week you can't turn up again in the same one and oh, it's very stressful. Um, the list goes on and on. You can imagine how great I felt when after booking tickets to Disney on Ice, my then five-year-old daughter tearily insisted we show Nana the tickets, just telling her wasn't enough so that Nana could make sure we turned up on the right day at the right time. Now I'm telling you all this not to brag, but to fight the good fight for reality. I'm very fortunate in my world to have a number of dynamic, creative, fun, shiny women who are well known for regularly losing stuff like keys and phones, wallets, children, etc. Are well known for being completely disorganised and also well known for being legends at pretty much anything they set their minds to. Housework is regularly overlooked in pursuit of living, play dates and child swaps par for the course. No need for a carefully planned and orchestrated date time agenda set. Just drop them off on the way and let me know and let them know how many they have so they don't lose one, hopefully. These wonderful women repeatedly make me feel normal and okay. They seem to have embraced themselves, both the good and the other stuff. They, and they openly speak of their shortcomings, but seem never to waste too much time on them. 
it worried me as I was thinking about it that there might be someone out there much like me who gets these waves coming at them but don't have any examples of normal awesomeness to combat the waves of perfection coming at them who don't have a reality check in place to ensure that they don't take any of that shit on board and to remind them that they're okay just as they are. So, our mission for now, if you choose to accept it, is to embrace anti-perfectionism in ourselves and each other. Not to focus on the bad, but to accept it rolls in with the good to create your awesome uniqueness, whatever shape that comes in. So feel free in this spirit and if you can relate to comment below two things, something you're hopeless at and something you're freaking awesome at. Hashtag everything anti, no, do a hashtag on everything which is hashtag anti-perfectionism. Subscribe if you want and thanks for listening.